When it comes to cellists, you have probably heard the name Yo-Yo Ma. He is one of the most famous cellists in history. But what about a woman? There are plenty of female cellists that deserve recognition for their talent as well. So in today's video, we are going to look at some of the greatest female cellists and their amazing contribution to both classical music and the cello itself. And we will start with one of the very first female cellists of all times. The Portuguese Guilherminha Suja. Guilherminha Sugia was one of the first women to make a professional career of playing the cello. She was a child prodigy and Sugia began to study the cello in her native Portugal at age of 5 and graduated from Leipzig Conservatory at the age of 18 and went on to become one of the most celebrated musicians of her era. And if I'm not mistaken, she studied with Paul Casals, like the legendary cellist of all times. <laughs> Guess the icon that comes next, she's British but has a French name, Jacqueline Dupré. Born in 1945, Jacqueline Dupré, a very renowned and talented British cellist, emerged on the music scene at 16 and quickly gained international acclaim by the age of 20. She married the legendary pianist and conductor Daniel Barenboim. Unfortunately, at the age of 26, Dupré's hands weakened due to multiple sclerosis forcing her early retirement at the age of 28 and she battled health issues for over a decade before passing away at 42. Now let me introduce to you the queen of the cello, the legendary Zara Nelsova. Zara Nelsova was a celebrated Canadian cellist. Renowned for her exceptional talent and her sound, she had a successful international career performing with leading orchestras and conductors. Nelsova was recognized for her expressive and virtuosic playing, leaving a lasting impact on the world of classical music. You see her left hand so big. Now, another queen of the cello. In fact, all the cellos that I'm mentioning today, you can consider them all queens or princesses of the cello because they are all great. And here comes Her Majesty, Natalia Gutmann. Born in 1942, Natalia Gutmann, a Jewish Russian cellist, has distinguished herself by winning international competitions such as the prestigious International Tchaikovsky Competition. Recognized for exceptional talents, Gutmann is often hailed as the queen of the cello. We have another Natalia on the list, but this time it's Natalia Shakovskaya. Natalia Shakovskaya, born in 1935, was a renowned Russian cellist. A student of Rostropovich and being his right hand, she later became professor at the Moscow Conservatory and many years later she was teaching in Madrid at the Reina Sofia. Shakovskaya performed globally, collaborating with esteemed musicians and premiering new compositions. Her impact extended to teaching and mentoring young musicians. The great Paolo Fernandez is one of her disciples. My father also studied with her in the 80s and I also had the privilege to have a couple of lessons with her in Madrid back in 2010. And if I'm not mistaken, Natalia Shakovskaya was the first woman ever 
that won the first edition of the International Tchaikovsky Cello Competition in Moscow in 1962, if I'm not wrong. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Quite a milestone to be the first female cellist winning the first cello edition of the Tchaikovsky Competition. Think about that. <laughs> I probably forgot to mention a few other cellists, so don't hesitate to name them in the comment section below. And for now, let's move to the next generation. When I was 19 years old, I had this amazing experience in a masterclass with German cellist and legend Maria Kliegel. My younger brother, who is a cellist as well, is taking private lessons with her and is also amazed. What we both can say is that she is an incredible teacher and also an incredible cellist. Let's travel to the USA. And the following cellist that I will mention, I did not know her until I was listening to her Barber cello concerto. Since that was a concerto I had to play at the entrance examination in Paris and I had no idea what this concerto was about. So I randomly looked up on Spotify and then I came up with this recording and I was so amazed. So beautiful, such a beautiful tone, sound, vibrato everything, you know, and yet powerful when needed. And since then, when I had to perform this Barber Concerto, I used always this recording as my reference. Wendy Warner. <laughs> It's time to travel back to Europe and this time we're gonna visit Luxembourg, a very tiny country. But did you know that even in Luxembourg, one of the smallest countries in the world, there was a phenomenal cellist, Françoise Grobin. Françoise Grobin was a Luxembourgian cellist and she studied with Boris Pergamenchikov and William Pleath. In 1990, the year I was born, she secured the second prize at the International Tchaikovsky Competition in Moscow. Grobin performed with prestigious orchestras worldwide. She played a 1695 Matteo Goffriller cello, supported by Banque Générale du Luxembourg. Sadly, she passed away at the age of 45. But fortunately, her cello, the Goffriller, is now in good hands. It's in the hands of my father, who is principal cellist of the Luxembourg Philharmonic Orchestra. And I tried once that instrument. It's amazing, it's gorgeous, but difficult to play on. Who knows, I'll have a chance to make a video featuring that instrument. So make sure to subscribe to this channel if you want to see that video. But a little disclaimer, it's gonna be hard to make a video about that Goffriller cello because of some contracts, deals, the don'ts, the do's and so on, you understand it. But if this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll do anything to make that video happen. So share this video as much as possible and let the voice of these female cellists be heard because they really deserve it. <laughs>
Right, now moving to the neighboring country, which is Belgium, my country. And we also have a phenomenal cellist over there. Unfortunately, not so famous, but she has won the fourth prize at the International Tchaikovsky Cello Competition in 1978. And in 1983, she was called out as Soloist of the Year in Canada, Switzerland, Belgium and France. And her teachers included Paul Tortelier, André Navarra and Pierre Fournier. Nothing else to say. Queen of the Queens, Franz Springel. When I was 15 years old, I remember that my mom was talking so much about a particular cellist from Argentina. So my mom bought the CD and she put it in the CD player in the car when we were driving to school. And by listening to that CD, I was really fascinated by that cellist's playing. It was so strong and powerful and yet so elegant, brilliant, accurate. It was amazing anyways, and beautiful sound. Then I asked my mom, who is that cellist? She says like, she's probably one of the best and most respected cellists of her times, nowadays, alive. I was like, yeah, but who is it? She answered me, Solga Beta. <laughs> What is a list without Hannah Chang? From all these cellists that we were talking today, I think she is the only one who was really a prodigy child. Because can you imagine, at the age of 11, she has won the Rostropovich cello competition. For those that don't know the Rostropovich cello competition, it doesn't exist anymore, but back in the time it was considered as one of the hardest cello competitions in history. She won it at an age when I was struggling with bow grip. And in 2010-10, I played once with her in the orchestra, the Shostakovich Cello Concerto. She was the invited soloist. The conductor was Antonio Papano, and it was really impressive. After that, I have not heard much about her because I heard she took more a conducting career. But still, I will always remember these days that we had the tour with her, with the Shostakovich Cello Concerto. It was really nice. <laughs> Thank you. 
Wow, so many cellists. It's incredible. I'm kind of getting a little bit tired, but there are still three cellists that I want to include in this list because I think they deserve it. Alicia Weilerstein, Imbal Segev, and Natalie Klein. My back and my neck are really starting to hurt and yet there are many more cellists over there. So please include them in the comment section below because probably I skipped a few of them. This video is part of a series that I'm making. Here you can find more videos like this one but only with male cellists. And believe me, it's very impressive. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this educational video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.